Hello students. In the last few videos, you learned how to change the subject of a formula. So what we're going to do in this video and the next few videos is actually apply that to some area formulas. So let's have a look at this one just here. So this shape here is called an ellipse. It looks like a circle that's been stretched out horizontally. And it turns out the formula for the area of an ellipse is area equals pi AB. By the way, this is very similar to area equals pi times radius times radius, which is the area of a circle. The only difference here is because we don't have a single radius, we've had to go um, area equals pi times the long radius times the short radius. So it's related to the area of a circle. Anyway, we want to rewrite this equation over here to make B the subject. So let's get started. So let's write the formula down first. A equals pi times A times B. Now to make B the subject, I have to divide by pi because pi is multiplied by B. And I also have to divide by A. Now we could do those in two separate steps, but that's going to be a bit of a problem because we're going to end up with a fraction over a fraction. So it's not wrong to do it that way, but it's certainly not the easiest way to do it. So a better way to tackle this would be to say I've got b multiplied by pi a. So I'm going to divide both sides by pi a. Pi a divide pi a goes to 1. That leaves b by itself, which is what we want, and a over big A for area over pi times A. So the message from this question here, the lesson from this question is if you've got a number of factors that you're multiplying by, in this case B, you can divide by both of those in one step. Okay, the second part of the question is find the value of B if A is 50 and A is 9. So for that we'll need our calculator. So B equals, I need the fraction button, A on top is 50. On the bottom we have pi times A. Well, there's my pi button down there, multiplied by, and A is equal to 9. Quick check, 50 over pi times 9, 50 over pi times 9, all checks. And we need to round that to probably two decimal places, so 1.7, and that 6 rounds up to a 7, so 1.77 centimeters. Okay, now we're going to stop this video, and in the next video, we're going to have two questions that we'd like you to try.